when the media talked about Mitt Romney's decision to vote to remove Trump from office, every outlet I saw was careful to give religion a little bit of unearned positive publicity. Right. They all pointed out that he did this because of his religious convictions. And I'm over here asking what are the kind of convictions he has? Right. Like, what's the difference between saying he did this because of his religious convictions and just his convictions? Right. And now, don't get me wrong. I, I get that Mormons have plenty of religious convictions that the rest of us don't share. And if Romney just voted to remove Trump from office because he was a coffee drinker that kept divorcing one wife before marrying the next, it would make perfect sense for the media to point out how religiously motivated it was. But the moral precept we're talking about is bribes are bad. There's no Mormon doctrine on bribes that diverges from the standards. So when they say this was motivated by his religious convictions, they're not claiming he has different moral standards to weigh Trump by. They're claiming he has different moral standards to weigh himself by. It's not that he has different morals than non-religious people or less religious people. He has the same morals, just better. And I'm sure many people would be tempted to excuse all of this as the media just passing along Romney's own assessment of the situation. He said his religion made him do it, and reporters are just dutifully relaying that message. But if I did a good thing and then I told the fucking press, yeah, well, you know, he was obviously guilty, and I have very high moral standards ever since I tried ZipRecruiter.com and used promo code SCATHING, I don't think they'd be as quick to parrot my fucking reasoning. Right. If, if you said you did a good thing because of your atheism, sure, they might report on the fact that you said that, but they'd all distance themselves from the statement as clearly as they could when they did. And yet when the commentary comes about Romney, it's all from people who are buying into this. His God made him do it line of shit all the way. And, and, and maybe other people are tempted to overlook it because, you know, like, what else are they going to say? I mean, is a CNN pundit just going to say, well, and Mitt Romney crossed the aisle because he's more moral than the rest of the Republicans? And I mean, the obvious answer to that is just yes. And why the fuck would even a theoretical person not think that was the correct answer? But also by the standards that people in Congress measure themselves by, is it any more insulting for CNN to imply that these people are less moral than Romney than it is to imply that they're less religious? Right. When people imply or even buy into the implication that Mitt Romney took a moral stand because of how religious he was, they're reinforcing a despicable bigotry against the non-religious. If we set aside our cynicism and grant him only the most altruistic motives, then at best we can say he took this moral stand because of how moral he was. But the words moral and religion are not fucking synonyms. And when they're used interchangeably, it implies that you and I, we're not even capable of reaching that fucking storied playing field of morality that religious people stand on. Right. But, but look, if religion was correlated with conviction, wouldn't Congress be loaded the fuck up with it? After all, every single goddamn member of Congress is religious, 100%. It's not just the most religious body in the country, it's the most religious body that's theoretically fucking possible. And if you really want to lean into your bigotry and declare that the Christian religion is better than the others, well, then the absolute paragon of ethical integrity should be the group of people Mitt Romney distinguished himself from by doing the minimally ethical thing. Of course, religious people would defend themselves from this charge by turning into the goddamn Scottish immigration services. Oh, well, they're not true Christians. They just say they are to get elected. And you know what? That might actually mean something if just saying that wasn't their whole fucking thing, right? Telling Jesus he forgives you is the only qualification for their club. And if we're doubting what people tell us about their religion, why did we only start doing that after we endorsed this story about Mitt Romney and his moral convictions? I mean, I think I can prove empirically that I'm all in favor of doubting every goddamn thing religious people say about their religion, so long as we're not being random about that shit. In this instance, the no true Scotsman fallacy isn't just covering up the problem, it is the problem. Despite all the evidence to the contrary, as soon as a religious person shows some fucking hint of morality, our culture says, wow, look how religious he is. And when the same person bullies the gay kid or tortures the family dog, the fucking exact same culture looks at the exact same person and says, well, he's not being very Christian right now, is he? And I've got to say, it's really depressing to reflect on the fact that there is literally no amount of child rape complicity that's going to break that rhetorical habit. 
right? Even after we learned that the world's largest religious institution actually is what the nutters think Comet Ping Pong is, we still shorthand morality with references to religion. We add the modifier religious before conviction instinctively, even though it doesn't modify anything. Hell, I've caught myself using church going as a euphemism for moral person. So to be clear here, convictions are what you have when a universal moral precept compels you to act in an ethical way. Religious convictions are what you have at the end of the child rape trial. Or at least that's what you'd fucking have if we had that first kind. 